Hey YouTube, Titanic Taters here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, update on my Albert Pujols PC binder for you all. Uh, he's another one of the guys that um, I kind of really chase after, I guess, for cards. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and get it started as usual. We got the Beckett in the front uh, to keep the front flat from pressing down on the cards. Uh, so. Uh, I do have, so the rookies that you see in here, I do actually have them either graded or in top loaders as well. Um, so we got the tops traded, tops traded right there. Um, and this is a reprint refractor, sapphire refractor or something like that. And then we got some 2002 tops, the base and the opening day. Uh, there's some spaces open on this on a few pages because I have some cards incoming. Uh, so we got uh, the tops 10. Uh, triple threads, number to 525, 80 out of 525, and then 2002 Bowman, and again, got a couple cards coming in there. Um, this is organized by uh, manufacturer, and, and then just kind of put in um, with cards that kind of look similar, just to give it an overall more aesthetically pleasing look, I guess. And there are some, there are refractors in here. Bowman's best. A little shine for y'all. And just like my Mark McGuire binder, this is um, cards under $20. BV. Book value. And there are no doubles in this binder. Been really uh, kind of pushing Pujols cards for myself lately just because he's getting up there, getting close to retirement. I think he has four or five more seasons left, um, coming close to 600 home runs, which is, he's obviously going to surpass. Um, I think he's going to finish closer to 700, probably close to um, Babe Ruth numbers like 715, 725 home runs, somewhere in there. Um, definitely going to finish over 3,000 hits. Uh, he'll probably accomplish that next season. Then we got a uh, Moments and Milestones, number 10 to 25. Another uh, refractor there. It's kind of hard to see, though. We got some parallels. I think I have the refractor coming in. That's why I have that space empty. Extractor and a refractor. We got the gold. It's so hard to to PC players that you know started playing after like 2000 or even 1998, 1999, and that era. Um, just so many cards out there, so many different parallels. It's hard to keep track of what's out there, uh, and you know, kind of decide what you want to chase for your PC, I guess. I mean, obviously I'll probably never have every single pool holes card ever printed. I think he, he has like over 20,000 cards already, something like that. Um, so it'd be kind of ridiculous to go after them all. Got some die cuts down here. These are fun. A couple of refractors and Bowen Platinum. Another Bowen or Prestige Platinum, whatever it is. Got a purple refractor there. The 80 or 76 or 74 reprint. What year is that? I don't remember. 75 maybe. Somewhere in that range. But I like those cards. Camera's not focusing now. Weird. Uh, the Luminous, Finest. I like these cards for Albert Pujols just because he's in his red jersey usually. Uh, purple Refractor. 
chrome, the base, milestones, or finest moments refractor. Uh, this is a Topps Heritage refractor. And this is all Topps and Bowman if you haven't figured that out up to this point. I mean, got some spaces empty on this page because I got some parallels of these, the minis coming in, which are going to fill in there. Uh, now this is Don Russ. Uh, Don Russ Leaf, when it was actually Don Russ Leaf. Some fun Diamond Kings. There's not a lot of these out there just because the company doesn't really exist anymore. It's under Panini. Uh, but uh, they're still fun to have. I'm really trying to keep this under 10 minutes for you guys, so I might go a little faster. And then we got Panini, Chasing the Hall, Prism Refractor. I think that's the purple one. I got a stat line number to 400, a 599 career slugging percentage. Some to some prisms, pinnacle, pinnacle. Field pass prism. And Fleer. Fleer Skybox. And that is the platinum rookie. Which I guess technically isn't a rookie card. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is. Who knows? It was one of those offshoot sets that nobody really collected. Uh, the gold medallion, or gold, whatever that is there. Not a lot of shine in the Fleer Skybox family. At least in this binder. I don't know if they have shiny cards out there, but not in here. Uh, then Upper Deck. This is one of my favorite Upper Deck cards right here. The UD Masterpiece. Uh, I like the Honor Roll, and then I got the uh, Rookie in here. 2001 Rookie. These are um, parallels here. I think one's a blue back, one's a green back. I like this old Judge card also. It's pretty cool. Hold on, monkey. Yeah, so we got a red back, green back, and the base here. Uh, some more upper deck, upper deck, upper deck. And I do keep track of my Albert Pujols PC in, like that card, in uh, Beckett as well, the Beckett Organized. Oh, say hi, Owen. Hi. Hi. Little cameo. <laughs> it's my kiddo's birthday today. We went out, so we had his birthday party yesterday and uh, had a fun celebration. I like that Star Attractions card. Had a fun celebration. I uh, had a dinosaur theme. And then today we went to a little uh, fun place. It's the Children's Museum here in Sonoma County um, where. They have all these fun things for him to do. We played with lots of Thomas the Train sets. And I'm going to make it. Yay, got a couple of parallels there. Uh, so that is my Albert Pujols PC binder. Uh, cards under $20 book value. Uh, as always, comment down below. Um, I'll be coming up with a video here pretty quick. Uh, with uh, my cards over $20 and graded cards as well. All right. Say bye, Bubba. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Peace out, YouTube. Enjoy.